Well, the second piece of housekeeping surrounds today's episode with Roger Penrose. Now, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to talk about quantum consciousness and the emperor's new mind, maybe ask Roger about the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics or the weirdness of quantum entanglement. I'm actually not that interested. I also don't want to go back to his earliest work on singularities and general relativity with Stephen Hawking. What I instead want to do is to remind you what Roger is in fact famous for. He's one of the greatest geometric physicists now living. He's perhaps the best uh, descendant of Albert Einstein, currently still working in theoretical physics in this particular line of thought. I also think he's a great example of what the UK does well. He has a very idiosyncratic approach to trying to solve the deepest problems in theoretical physics called twister theory. I'm not expert in it, and I can't always follow it. So if you're not following everything in today's episode, instead of deciding that the episode has somehow failed you, try to remember that people who are working in mathematics and theoretical physics spend most of their time listening to colleagues completely lost as to what their colleagues are saying. So if you start to feel that you are being left behind by some line of thinking, what we do is, in general, wait to see if another line of thinking opens up that we can try to catch. You're not going to get all of the waves, and in fact, the same thing is happening to me while I'm interviewing Roger. He's not understanding everything I'm saying, I'm not understanding everything he's saying, and in fact, this is normal. So what I would like to do is to instead present you guys with an idea of what science actually sounds like when people are talking from two slightly different perspectives. We spend an awful lot of time simply trying to understand each other. And if that feels a little bit uncomfortable, well, then in fact, you're getting a true scientific experience, which is often very different than what you're getting when everything is pre-chewed and spoon-fed. Hope you enjoy it. 